Many are the terrible stuff Monsanto has been accused of and in fact, they are one of the most hated companies in human history. Monsanto ranks high among companies that got all six continents of the world to protest against them. We will find out whether this hate is justified or not in this video. Let's start with their history. Monsanto dates back to 1901. It was started in St. Louis by this man named John Francisco Queenie. He chose to name the company after his wife's maiden name, Monsanto. It's unclear why, but that's what he did. The company's original intention was to manufacture saccharin, an artificial sweetener. Since then, there has been much discussion over saccharin and its potential health risks, but in 1901 no one had any issues. He started selling it to the Coca-Cola company. A few years later, he began selling vanilla and coffee, and by 1928, John Queenie had left his son a multi-million dollar chemical company, and for the most part of their existence, that is what they have been. They began to get involved in agriculture and biotechnology in the 1940s. That started to take up more and more of their company before their chemical unit spun off in 1996. Then in the year 2000, they did this thing where they merged with another company, then spun off their agricultural operations into a new separate company called Monsanto. 2018 saw a buyer purchase that business for a reported $63 billion. They declared that they will drop the Monsanto brand. There's been a lot of changes and through all of it, there's been a lot of hatred. So let's look at where it comes from. During World War II, in the early 1940s, there was this secret effort led by the United States to create an atomic bomb. It was called the Manhattan Project. As part of the Manhattan Project, a large quantity of polonium-210, a radioactive metal, was required. They didn't know how to separate it, and they couldn't obtain the amount that they needed. To get help with the problem, the army got in touch with Monsanto. It turns out Monsanto had just bought these laboratories in Dayton, Ohio, 10 years earlier and were using them for their main research department. They went over there and got to work on it after accepting the challenge. Everything about it worked out well. Two of the bombs that were made were dropped on Japan. There have been many disagreements over whether or not this was a good thing, but the fact is, Monsanto did play a part in creating that bomb along with many others, and I think I should make that clear. But you could understand how their involvement could cause some hatred toward them. This substance was created as a herbicide in the 1930s. It was used by farmers to kill weeds and plants. Then during the Vietnam War in the 1960s, the United States government came up with the plan to spray it throughout Vietnam in an effort to destroy their food supply. It was called Operation Ranch Hand and is very controversial. The United States Air Force sprayed about 20 million gallons of herbicides, more than half of which was Agent Orange over Vietnam in a nine-year period, and Monsanto was one of the main providers of it to the American government. It appears that it does more than merely kill plants. It's terribly harmful for humans that are exposed to it. As an effect of their exposure, when the U.S. Vietnam War veterans returned home, they were developing different types of cancers and other diseases. Their children had birth defects. It was bad, and I mean very bad. Estimates say it negatively affected millions of people in the U.S., not to mention the people of Vietnam. Agent Orange is a wide topic that we can talk about for a long time, but let's get back to Monsanto. The U.S. veterans of the Vietnam War filed a class action lawsuit against the chemical manufacturers in 1979, and Monsanto was among the leading plaintiffs in 1984. An out-of-court settlement of $180 million marked the end of the lawsuit. They admitted no liability, and looking back, it was kind of a win for Monsanto. Their stock price actually went up because a lot of people were expecting the outcome to be much worse. Their main line of defense in the entire case was that the government established the guidelines for creating Agent Orange and decided when, where, and how it was used, basically shifting the blame to the government. There's been notes and other evidence found suggesting that Monsanto knew how harmful it was. I'm sure the government certainly knew. As recent as 2012, they settled a lawsuit from the residents of Nitro, West Virginia. Monsanto operated a plant there from 1949 to 1971 that produced some of the hazardous materials used to make Agent Orange. The locals said they were exposed to absurdly high concentrations of these dangerous substances. For the settlement, they didn't admit that they did anything wrong, but they agreed to pay millions of dollars in medical testing and professional house cleaning. The responsibility in everything involving Agent Orange will continue to be debated, but the fact is they were a major producer of something that harmed or killed millions of innocent people, and we can see how that would spark some hatred. Aspartame, a low-calorie artificial sweetener, was discovered in 1965 by chemist James Schlatter. It promised to be a revolutionary sugar substitute, but its journey to the market was met with controversy. In 1981, after years of research and regulatory back and forth, 
the U.S. Food and Drug Administration approved aspartame for use in certain foods and beverages. Monsanto bought G.D. Searle, the company that originally patented aspartame, securing control of one of the most lucrative food additives in the world. But soon after its approval, aspartame became the focus of heated public debate. Critics questioned its safety, citing studies that linked aspartame to a range of health problems from headaches to seizures and even cancer. Consumer advocacy groups called for its ban, while regulatory agencies, including the FDA and World Health Organization, defended its safety relying on numerous studies that showed no harm from its consumption within approved limits. In fact, many consumer advocacy groups did protests and media engagements. Monsanto faced legal battles and mounting public suspicion, but aspartame continued to dominate the market found in everything from soft drinks to sugar-free gum. Critics accused Monsanto of using its corporate might to influence regulators and suppress negative research. In 2000, Monsanto sold its artificial sweeteners business to Joe Dewey Child's equity partners. So as you can see, another example of Monsanto selling a chemical that is potentially harmful and it doesn't stop there. PCB stands for polychlorinated biphenyls. They used to be used all over the place. They were in refrigerators, panes, plastics, electrical equipment. However, it was later discovered that it is risky and probably causes cancer. And if you're pregnant and around it, that's bad news, and in general, it's just not something that should be everywhere for these reasons. In 1979, it was banned by the EPA. They claimed that it could no longer be produced and that the plan was to phase it out gradually in the places where it was already in use. I don't think you'll be surprised to hear that Monsanto was the main producer of this stuff in North America. Once more, they created something that caused harm to many people, and once more, the question is whether or not they understood the danger. And to make matters worse, a ton of documents have been discovered that prove they did. Despite knowing it was dangerous, they didn't tell anyone and kept selling it. Some of the documents go back to the 1930s. And how about this? In 2003, they agreed to a $700 million settlement in connection with charges that accused them of dumping waste containing PCBs all around this town in Alabama called Anniston. That went on for years, it was in the water and the air, and it was making the locals sick. Most individuals think they've been very careless with them and have intentionally done some dubious things that endanger the health of innocent people. In 1976, they introduced this product called Roundup, and it was pretty awesome. It kills weeds and unwanted plants. It was used by farmers and everyday homeowners, and it's possible you may have used it before. It does a good job. Then, in 1996, they were able to genetically modify these plants where they were basically immune to Roundup. They call them Roundup-ready crops, meaning that you could spread all over everything and only the unwanted plants and weeds would be harmed. There's been plenty of concern over those, along with other genetically modified organisms that they provide. They sell all of these seeds that are genetically modified in different ways, and there are a ton of arguments both in favor of and against them. Although I don't want this to become an argument for or against genetically modified organisms, but it's likely that if you hate GMOs as many people do, you also hate Monsanto. Going back to Roundup, there was more concern about it in 2018. It also turns out that it contains an ingredient that likely causes cancer and of course, people dislike that. Many specifically dislike how they failed to properly label it and how they tried to minimize publicity around it. People who use Roundup frequently and are later diagnosed with cancer have filed numerous successful lawsuits and there has been a great deal of outrage over Roundup. RBGH stands for Recombinant Bovine Growth Hormone. It's a hormone you give to cows and they produce more milk. There's a lot of debate about this one as well. Although the FDA in the United States approved it in 1993, it has been banned in Canada and Europe. In 1994, Monsanto quickly became a major producer of it. I don't want to get into too much detail, but the negative side effects of treating cows with it include higher incidences of infections and other illnesses. Also, there is another hormone present in higher concentrations in the milk produced by these cows, which could lead to various types of cancers. This is one of those situations where you really have to educate yourself on the subject and develop your own conclusions, but many people disapprove of it. And since Monsanto was one of the first and biggest companies to provide RBGH, you can see how this would cause some hatred. So again, why is Monsanto hated? Well, they were involved in making the atomic bomb. They supplied the government with tons of Agent Orange that ended up harming millions of innocent people. They became a major supplier of the controversial chemical aspartame. They sold PCBs for years that they probably knew were harmful and were seemingly irresponsible in disposing waste containing it. They sold Roundup Wheat Killer without sufficiently warning us that it can be harmful, not to mention the Roundup Ready crops and all of the highly debated GMOs. Which leads me to RBGH for cows which again may be harmful for cows and humans. I think we can see the pattern here. 
Over the years, they've sold a lot of harmful stuff. Some of it is debated, some of it is pretty conclusive. Sometimes they knew what they were doing, and sometimes they claimed they didn't, and this has all been very negative. But there is some good too. I mean, Monsanto has been a major chemical and agricultural company that's provided some important products. There's a lot of people that are in favor of a lot of the stuff that I mentioned in this video. I fear I may have glossed over the GMOs and what that means for the farmers and the labeling and everything going on there. That's probably the biggest reason they're hated today, but there is a lot to cover and a lot of stuff that I didn't even get to. DDT, for example, the concept of terminator seeds, styrofoam among many others. So before you form your opinions about Monsanto, I recommend you look a little more into this stuff. Let us know in the comment section. What is your personal view on Monsanto in the agricultural space? What is your view on GMOs and the whole issue with Roundup and the atomic bomb? And in all honesty, do you pay attention to how and where you get your supplies from your grocery store? Let me know in the comment section. Thank you for watching and for your support.